A reading from the Franciscan Book of Saints. November the 27th. Blessed Francis Anthony Fassani. Confessor First Order. Born in 1681 at Lucera, southeastern Italy, Francis Anthony was the son of very poor peasants, but he was a bright lad and received a good education from the conventional Franciscans in his native town. When he was 14, he received the habit of St. Francis among the conventuals, and in 1705, he was ordained to the priesthood. He was then sent to the Sacro Convento, adjoining the Basilica in Assisi, where St. Francis is buried, for the purpose of continuing his studies. Two years later, he received the doctorate in theology, and he was then appointed lector of philosophy in the college conducted by the conventuals in his hometown. He was promoted successfully to Regent of Studies, Guardian and Provincial, which latter office he held from 1721 to 1723. After that he served as Master of Novices and then as Pastor of the Church of St. Francis in Lucera. A bishopric was offered to him, but he declined it. From the process of beatification, we learn that Francis Anthony was diligent in study, fervent in piety, prompt in his obedience to his superiors, devout in meditation, and most exact in the fulfilment of all his duties. He was also mortified and given to the exercises of penance, even to bloodshed. From his youth he was an angel in the flesh, more an angel than a man. Among the devotions that he cherished, there were especially a tender love for the Immaculate Mother of God, a childlike affection for the infant Jesus, and fervent adoration, also night adoration, of the Holy Eucharist. Once while he was absorbed in prayer, someone who happened to be in the church heard a voice saying, This priest prays much for his people. As a priest, he also became an eloquent preacher, a lover of the poor, a friend of the unfortunate. He was a missionary, a retreat master, and a Lenten preacher. For hours he would sit in the confessional, hearing and absolving the sins of his penitents, consoling the afflicted, warning the hardened of heart. He spent much time in visiting the sick, the orphans, and the imprisoned. As a pastor, he was a real father to his people. After 35 years in the priesthood and a life of penance, union with God, and intense labor for the salvation of souls, God called Father Francis Anthony to himself on November the 29th, 1742. On that day, the people of Lucera came hurrying to the church of St. Francis, exclaiming, as did the children at the death of St. Anthony of Padua, the saint is dead, the saint is dead. And for 200 years since then, they have continued to kneel and pray at his tomb. The cause of his beatification was introduced in Rome in 1832, and in 1951, Pope Pius XII solemnly enrolled him among the blessed. A reflection on the veneration of the saints. The important feature in venerating the saints is imitating their virtues, but it is not the only feature. The saints deserve personal honor too, such as we give them by observing their feast days, adorning their images, extolling their virtues in sermons, singing hymns and reciting prayers in their honor. In honoring them, we honor God himself, as the psalmist admonishes us, Praise the Lord in his saints. Psalm 150 verse 1 Consider that the veneration of the saints will be particularly helpful to us if we confidently ask them to intercede for us. They are with God, they behold him face to face, and as beloved children of God, they can do much for us poor sinners by their intercession. From personal experience, they know our needs and the many dangers to which we are exposed here below. Consider the powerful protection the saints procure for us. Their merits and sufferings, not seldom endured in a cruel martyrdom, plead to God for mercy and grace, as do the open wounds of Christ. Moreover, their loving solicitude for our salvation urges them to pray for us at the throne of God. Thus Onias, the high priest, once beheld the prophet Jeremiah in a vision, and said, This is the lover of his brethren, who prays much for the people. 2 Maccabees chapter 15, verse 14 Prayer of the Church Grant we pray, O Lord, that thy faithful people may ever rejoice in venerating thy blessed servant, Francis Anthony, and all thy saints, and may be aided by their unceasing prayers. 
through Christ our Lord. Amen.